Thank you for checking out this shirt. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Peace. But I want to segue into the Kamala because that's one of my questions, right? Pros and com- the pros and cons of Kamala on the ticket. A lot of people, uh, excuse me, I'm saying Kamala, Kamala. A lot of people um, felt that Stacey Abrams should have been that selection and, and, and weren't necessarily happy um, about Kamala Harris being that selection. And so I like to get your opinions, um, fellas, pros and cons. Like, you know, are there any cons? First of all, are there any cons to Kamala being on this ticket? <clears throat> That's my first question. Donald, since you talked about Kamala, go ahead. Uh, be honest with you, I wouldn't have chose her. I don't like her. I'm going to vote Democratic in spite of her. Um, who I wanted as his running mate was Keisha Lance Bottoms. Mm. The, yeah. Someone from, uh, I, someone from Florida, right? From, L, from Atlanta. Uh, Georgia. Right? She's real. Well, I mean, you know, Georgia, Atlanta, but but she's somebody that kind of reminded me of President Obama. Right. I didn't want a career politician. The Stacey Abrams, career politician. Kamala Harris, mass incarceration of black people under her watch. So no, no, no. Uh, I, I, no, I, I, I didn't like her. I mean, it does, it's not going to deter my vote. It just frustrated me because I, I wanted him to really go outside the out of the box. Yeah, say that again though. It won't deter your vote from vote. It will not deter my vote. No, 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 no. That no, was a political vote. Political because vote. Pence, I, I don't want anything to happen to Trump because Pence is ten times worse. Mm-hmm. So stay healthy, Trump. Right. <laughs> uh, 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 Doc, any any cons on Kamala that you can think of? Um, not that I can think of. I mean, I just heard some bad things about her, but I don't. I don't know of her. I didn't do any research on her to know some of the things that she's done. So I can't give you a, 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 a good answer on that. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I'm going to vote democratic all the way down the line, but um, I don't have any true stories from um, stories about her at all. I mean, I heard about some bad things about her, about locking up all the black people, but that's about it. Okay. Also. Uh, I'm more of a pro uh, when it comes to Kamala. I, I, again, I'm not too too much versed in her background, but I do know some of her background when she was attorney general in California, um, some of the immigration bills that she tried to fight for. Um, and of course, you know, uh, policing and stuff like that. I did hear of some things about her, you know, locking up, you know, you know a lot of minorities and stuff like that. But, you know, for me, like I said before, um, just the immigration bill and what she did as far as attorney general in the state of California, um, fighting for those people to jog downtrodden people and immigrants in, in, in that state. Um, you know, that's one of the things that kind of swayed me towards her. And, and listen, there's no, there's no such thing as a perfect candidate right. uh, on either side. You know, um, you pick out things again. We'll go back to the earlier conversation. You pick out things from each person's platform that, um, that you agree with popular and that's not popular. And you just try to size it up. And for me, um, that was my that was my pick from the very beginning. Again, I'm still doing some uh, research on Kamala, um, some of the things that I do know about her and everything. But for me, um, I'm I'm good. I'm going to stay more with the pro um, with uh, with Kamala. And you still voting down ticket? Yes, sir. That's Democrat. Absolutely. Right, Crooner. I'm not touching Kamala or Biden as far as their record. I'm not doing it. I'm going to vote strictly Democrat because they both got some stuff, man, that don't shake well. And I'm, I'm in the belief that when we have discussions like this, we got to be careful because we don't know who's listening and how we can sway people to think otherwise. But they, they got some rough history, man. Mm-hmm. They really do when it comes to us. You know? Mm-hmm. And that's why I can understand when they talk about hold the vote. But I'm not going to do it. But they records, man, they got some stain on their record. Just like you said, there's nobody out there, no perfect candidate, but I'm going for the ticket. I'm going Democratic ticket all the way down, man. Because Democrats are, are the ones that help people. I believe in helping people, you know. I don't believe in the, the upper echelon, you know. I'm better than you. No, that's, that's BS. We all here together, man, you know. We all got I mean, in each In each party, I mean, the record of each candidate they've done in the past, but do we walk around and hold that because of, do we base our vote? Again, we, we, ha- we have to base everything on their past, right? But we can't hold against them for their future because the future's unknown, right? So you have to move forward. 
You yeah. just can't say, you know, those are different people than it might have been eight years ago or four years ago or 12 years ago. So do you just stick on that and just say, well, for this reason, you can't do that. You, you, you got to look towards the future. You got to look yeah, towards but the future. Edwin, but with that logic, with, with based on your logic, right, Trump, the people are going to say, with, based on your logic, that's why they're going to continue to vote for Trump based on your logic. That's it's his not base. About us trying to, it's not about, a, no, it's not, no, it's not just his base is voting base. for him. It's, it's not about, we have to, we as a people have to be more informed. Mm, absolutely. Um, what the right. candidate is offering you individually, because no one on this call can personally tell me how eight years of President, President Obama affected them personally. Absolutely. There was a personal touch. How did, how did you, the only issue that I had in those eight years was the fact that my kids could stay on my insurance till they were 26. But it, people in office never affected me. The Bushes didn't affect me. Clinton didn't affect me. Reagan didn't affect me. George Bush Sr. didn't affect me personally. So I'm saying that, that those down ballots that, Van, that he was talking about, that is important. Think about the, what you just talked about, what, what, uh, what Kev the comedian was just talking about. How many judges it's going to change the way we are perceived for the next 30 to 40 years. Put your personal feelings aside about how and what they stood for, because I don't believe that they changed the way Edwin did believe. I believe that I believe Joe Biden's the same person he was in 1977. All right, mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. However, however, I don't need any more Republican judges in the state in the Pennsylvania Supreme Court or in the district level. We have to stop this nonsense. So, so, uh, Mr. Marina Comedy, you look like you got something yeah. to say. Oh, no, I, you know, we in California with Kamala, whatever her name is, but my thing with her, man, Kamala, she had a job to do and she put people in the jail, and that's what she did. Okay, um, maybe all her decisions wasn't good, mm -hmm. but again, when I look at the big picture, is what I'm looking at who gives me the best, who fits into what I'm trying to accomplish in my life and what I see is going to benefit us. I'm okay with it. I, I don't have a problem with it. You know what I mean? I think, granted, she's made some mistakes, but you got to understand how the media works, man. They're going to focus on all this negativity, and they feed you what they want you to hear. Mm -hmm. If you want to talk about somebody, do your research about the person. Get a background. Find out about them. Don't just take what the media gives you. Mm -hmm. Okay? They give you a, a small slice of this person. Snippet. That's they're giving you. And it's depending on who's telling the story, the narrative, if it's positive or negative. Right. You got to do your own due diligence. You know, it's like don't read the book by Malcolm X. Read the autobiography and read the unauthorized and then come to the middle. Mm -hmm. And that's where you come up with the best decision. I don't take one little snippet about buying and one thing about, I don't do that. I try to do my due diligence. And when I look at the big package, the big picture is what I'm looking at. That's my best option. Yeah. It's a both Democrat on this one. Because I know when I see a black man and a white man go up for the same charges with the same judge for armed robbery, and that white man gets three years, Different outcome. And, the, and the black man gets 20, the exact same crime, the exact same background, right. and this is what's happening to us. Mm -hmm. And if we don't vote the right way, this will continue to happen to us. And it's going to affect us for the next 30 and our kids. Yeah. So we owe it to them, man. So whoever fits your, what you looking for, that's who you vote for. Right. We owe it to Breonna Taylor, too. We absolutely owe it to that young lady, man. We absolutely owe yeah. um, Baller, what's your thoughts on that? Kamala, pros and cons, if any. Um. Well, actually, the, um, the preacher did speak on the mass incarcerations of, of Black men, you know, which... You know, when we actually do a little homework, there is a large percentage that should not be incarcerated, if not, at least not for the amount of time they have been incarcerated. Mm -hmm. You know, so that is one of the biggest things that stands out when you actually look at her record is those mass incarcerations, you know, and, but then, you know, even though that's so high on the, on on when you look at her record, you know, you look to the other side of her record, the uh the pros, there's a lot of things that, you know, she does for women, she does for minorities, she does she does for children. So let me let me say this, right? Um 
preacher said, what, you know, what has the president actually done to you, done for you? Correct me if I'm wrong, um, Donald, but essentially you're saying, hey, listen, how have you been impacted directly, right? So I, I believe right. personally that at a presidential level, you know, there is more impact at a federal, you know, a, little, a federal level, right? Things are being rolled out on a federal level. Uh, and there is some impact, you know, you think about the American Re Recovery and Reinvestment Act when Obama was in play, right? Um, people were impacted by offering summer youth employment. And you think about uh, individuals not having health care and, and being directly impacted in that way. Um, however, with that said, a lot of changes and impacts to us really happen on the state and local levels, which we do not go out and vote. Like we are not super voters. We vote based on presidential elections. And that's typically it. 